Uh, Deshaun Watson let the Browns know he was no long, the, they were no longer one of the teams he was looking at. Uh, it is down to the Falcons and the Saints. Uh, but uh, within the last couple of minutes, uh, things are starting to heat up. Uh, Baker Mayfield has requested a trade. Uh, Browns were offering to fly down to meet with Baker, but uh, from the quarterback's perspective, Bridges burn time to move on now. Uh, Mary Kay Cabot then tweeted that uh, Browns have told Baker Mayfield's agent they are not, repeat, not going to accommodate his request. That is per league sources uh, via Mary Kay Cabot. And um, again, Baker Mayfield, it's in mutual interest of both sides to move on. The relationship too far gone to mend it. Best interests of both sides to move on and move on now. Let's welcome in Quincy Carrier, um, YouTube personality and Quincy. Uh, yeah, yeah. What, what do you make of all this? Well, I mean, this is an ultimate he is who they said he was kind of moment for Baker Mayfield, right? Like we've tried to give him the benefit of doubt here that, Hey, he could handle situations like this, that he's not going to burst out. You know, if things go down, like we thought they were going to go down since what January, right? Once he had finished that season, we'd like, Hey, we could look for an upgrade. You thought that, Hey, maybe he could handle the situation more maturely. He's more mature than he was when he entered the league. But this, this whole situation, look, I'm not saying that the Browns are perfect angels in this situation. There are probably things that they wish they could have done uh, to make this easier, but I don't think there is much you could have done to avoid this other than tell Baker Mayfield that you're going to start him no matter what. And that just wasn't an option going into this offseason. Yeah, and again, in the NFL, if you play quarterback and you don't win the Super Bowl and you're not one of the top five or six quarterbacks, it happens. Last year it was Jimmy Garoppolo. The, the 49ers traded three number one picks to, to trade up to get a quarterback. Jimmy Garoppolo was playing quarterback with this guy on the bench and he let him deep into the playoffs. You know, Jared Goff, they traded for Matthew Stafford. This thing happens to NFL quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. And it, it's something that, you know, if you're not one of those guys, and this is where I get actually concerned for Baker Mayfield's career because talent wise he should be in the NFL for a while but when you do stuff like this and you're not one of those guys right teams aren't going to put up with it and you won't stay in the league like there are a number of guys who did not stick in the league not because they're not talented enough to play in it but because teams don't want to deal with this right and when you're the level of quarterback that Baker Mayfield is which is hey at his best he's probably around the top 10 but not in the top 10 and at his worst he was like what 27 from QBR this year um then teams are going to want a guy who they're not going to have to worry about him releasing a statement or him requesting a trade or whether he's happy or not, that they know that he's going to be a professional, show up to work and not complain either way. That's just what guys want out of that quarterback position when you're not one of those guys. And when you go out and do something like this, it's not just a signal to the Cleveland Browns that, hey, look, this, this no matter what, if he plays this year, I don't know, right, for the Cleveland Browns. But it, it's over after this contract's up for him. And unless he puts out the best season by far he's ever had. This could be something that could hurt his ability to stick in the league because this is not behavior that people want out of somebody who's going to be in a position that Baker Mayfield is going to be in after this year, which is maybe we start him, maybe we put him on the bench. Do you feel comfortable if you're another NFL team seeing what's going down with Cleveland that, hey, I can sign Baker Mayfield to be a backup quarterback and he's not going to you know, shake anything and make anything uh, awkward in the building? I wouldn't. And I think a lot of people around the league wouldn't. Um, so, yeah, this is just a whole whole mess. Look, it, the Browns, again, they could have done things better, but the, a lot of the stuff we're talking about is coming from the Baker Mayfield side. The letter, the trade request. You know, there was the one comment about we want an adult at quarterback, and quite frankly, some people are going to agree with that for good reason, but it probably shouldn't have come out, right? That probably wasn't a good thing to come out. But this... This is Baker Mayfield, and this is just not helping his cause for next year in Cleveland. It's not helping his cause for the rest of his career. Like, this is, you don't see Matt Ryan doing this for a specific reason. Alex Smith did not do this uh, when he was the lame duck in San Francisco. Same thing with Jimmy Garoppolo, right? They all have to understand at some point this is a business, it's not personal. People are going to look to upgrade. I'm not the best guy in my position. Um, but unfortunately, you know, I think he might feel like he's Aaron Rodgers. Like this is stuff that you would expect from Aaron Rodgers, not somebody who, you know, is of Baker Mayfield's caliber. 